I've got $20,000 cash and a connection to the owner of a barn turned into a game store filled with 50,000 video games. We're gonna go there with the intention of buying as many video games as we can get. But the owner has other intentions. If you want a heck of a deal right now for all of it, like every, everything. Just after the right price. First time we went, we spent $3,500. Second time, we spent $6,000. Third time, we spent $7,000. This time, I'm hoping to spend over $10,000. This is the most cash that I've ever brought to a deal. Yeah, we actually literally have $20,000 that we're bringing. That's yeah. scary. That's a lot. I mean, that's a lot. I don't know if we're gonna spend all of it, but we kinda wanna be ready for anything. For those that don't know, I've been reselling for 20 years. I love collecting and selling video games and collectibles, and I've been making videos about that journey for five years. My business has been blessed to be able to support my family and also be able to bring Skylar on and support his family as well. Over the last several weeks, we've been going to a barn that turned into a game store with over 50,000 games. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, we've been buying a ton of games in hopes of using the profits from selling them to build our own barn similar to this one to run my business out of. We had planned with Justin, the owner, about a week prior to buy a ton of N64 stuff, including 180 box games, like 50 systems, and potentially thousands of cartridges. We knew we were gonna need some help, so we picked up Thane, one of my lifelong best friends, and headed out to the barn. We've been watching your whatnot auctions. Those are fun. Uh, yeah, those oh, are fun. yeah? Yeah, yeah they're, they're fun. We got a solid little community over there. It was, it, Truly, it was really fun to watch. The owner, Justin, and I are talking for a bit. Let's get started. But all the box 64, right? Yeah, okay. Potentially the cartridges, too. Yeah, we have a lot of the cartridges. Did you? Yeah. All right, well, we gotta, we gotta figure out how to buy it all, then. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> so the guy that won, wanted to buy the store initially, uh huh. Contacted me. Uh huh. He came in and wiped out a bunch of stuff. Okay. So, okay. Well, I was he, like, he saw your guys' video. Yeah. Crap. Like half of the Nintendo 64 games that I wanted to get are gone. Um, what are you gonna do? We gotta find a way to get the rest, I think. I'm not ready for this. A lot of the cartridges are gone. Yeah, you do you. All right, so what what else got sold? What? It... Oh, look what I found. Oh, another one. I don't know if you were looking for another one or not. But... Nice. Always. Yeah, I was like, because I was telling him that we watch your whatnot, and so like, someone's like, bring another app. Chainsaw control. I'm like, I'll find one. <laughs> yeah. And I told Skylar, we kind of organized the shipping container a little bit more. Mm -hmm. We pulled oh, out sweet. a lot of systems, stack stuff, so you can kind of awesome. see more awesome. of what. Yeah, that'll be great. I'm working on getting you a good 50, 64 right now, so, and then we're going to go okay. from there. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So what happened? The video got seen, and... A lot of stuff got bought since last time we got here. It's only been like a week. And to be clear, we want Justin to make money, whether that's from us or not. He has every right to sell to whoever he wants. Yeah, Justin is a legend, and he actually went out of his way to keep the box games and systems for us, which he didn't have to do. But my biggest fears at the same time were realized. We proceeded with the plan and continued to get some of the N64 stuff, but in the back of my head, I knew we had to make a bigger play. As if buying a thousand N64 games and a hundred systems isn't a big enough play, Sky Guy. guy. <laughs> you doing it. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Let's get some oh, yeah. Oh, nice catch. Mm -hmm. he was Never dropped the game. game. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a well, lot. He said he, uh, wow. There's a lot that got cleared out. Unfortunate, but hey, you got some money. What you doing there, Sky? Just boxing up some stuff. Just a bunch How many of times did we open this one up? <laughs> <laughs> a few. A couple and a half or three. <laughs> I've seen this many quarterback clubs. <laughs> Five, right? Sealed. Three more sealed. Wet tricks. <laughs> Wow. This is what I'm going to take from this. Okay. That's cool. I'm going to put two Japanese. Oh, oh my goodness. That's cool. <laughs> I know, I'm just going to... Yeah. These ones are kind of separate. That's yeah. All the, what if, uh, if we bought a bunch of NES carts or something? 
trying to figure out how to seal the deal on the whole thing. Because <laughs> we got people. Yep. Yeah. Pounding down the door. <sighs> I've never been nervous like this before. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that stuff sold for him because it's out of his hair like he wants. Yeah, but we didn't we didn't think I this. Didn't, I didn't think that this much. We didn't think that this would be an issue. I, I didn't think this much would be bought. Well, do you have a number for the rest of it? For everything else? I mean, <laughs> I don't know, man. Make me an offer. Let's do that. So in my experience as a reseller, when there's a deal on the table, especially a good one, you need to try and do everything that you can to make that deal happen. And every day that goes by without making the deal, the chances decrease. Or like in this case, somebody else could come along and buy it all. Should we go look at the shipping container? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, go check it all let's out. Let's go man. check it out. So if I was gonna think about buying everything, I certainly had to be able to see everything before buying it. And in this case, seeing everything may not be possible. Um, these are empties. That's that soft Xbox systems, whatnot. Okay. <laughs> um, the systems, you know, I'll tell you, I have no idea anything about them. Okay. So. I found another two giant boxes of PlayStation 1 systems, and you can see I started stacking in the ceiling over there. So. Oh my god. <laughs> and they're double. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. I've been trying to get something somewhat organized for PSPs, not sure what, what to deal with those. Like, kind of thing. Well, hey, this is better than being in boxes. Though. Yeah. Oh man. I got to the point where I'm like, just. Put the box down below. It's not what we want right now. <laughs> just yeah. PSP fats. Goodness. Have you been doing like an inventory on these as you stack them or not? Just no, if you need to, you need to. Yeah. yeah. I figure once it warms up a little bit, I'll come out here and yeah, start digging more. And the the very last box I pulled out of my trailer out there was the remaining 64 controller I was looking for. I'm like, of course, the very last one. <laughs> as I'm crawling through everything. Yeah. <laughs> And then did I, I think last time we were here, I probably just heard you wrong, but did you say you had a 600 pound box of manuals or oh, 600 yeah, pound, like yeah, a single it's, box? Uh, or <laughs> it's one of these actually, let's see. <laughs> yeah, it's on the bottom. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm sure it yeah, is. I mean, there's, oh my there's gosh. boxes and boxes of systems everywhere. That's why I don't know anything about them. I know we had broke ones in the back back of our retail store. Yeah. But, so I know there are some broke ones. I'll say that. Yeah. I don't know how many. And then this, I mean, new forces, super, super, there's a half a Nintendo. It just, <laughs> I don't know, man, it's, it's a disaster right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, hey, let's. I found some more Sega Master games, which I was like, okay, that's a good start there, too. It's one of them. You don't have to find it. I was just curious. Yeah. Like, so I was like, I, I wonder if he said a single box with 600 pounds or he just has maybe 600 pounds. No. Of box of connects. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like 32X in here too. And there, so these, I think are all just DVD movies. Okay. On this side. There's like, I think 10,000 DVD movies which aren't worth much. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's... <laughs> uh, more Sega Genesis. You're a strong guy, you don't need me. It's <laughs> <laughs> not like you've gotten enough Here of a workout go. already. Oh, wow. Oh, They're everywhere, man. It's, it takes like three people to move this box. I can't even I'm fly sure. it. I'm <laughs> sure. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just paper. Small, yeah, that probably is 600. I mean, there's good, good ones in here, too. It's not... Good night. Throw this on the scale at home. Yeah, <laughs> the scale wouldn't, wouldn't handle that. I know. <laughs> so there's all this. Uh, I found a box of Game Gears. You can play a fun game. Yeah. We nice. see how many out of this box work. work. Yeah. My guess? 5%. Two. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's That's hilarious. Hilarious. <laughs> like blockbuster rental cases back when they used to rent systems. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A ton of steering wheel, a bunch more rock band. I don't remember what's in this one. <laughs> you don't have to. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> um, I think these are carrying cases, 360s, old original like Xbox 360 okay. crap. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not much. Like I said, I've been digging through here. Take trying to take the better stuff in. Yeah. Another box that's literally just miscellaneous. I feel kind of bad because I crushed my boxes while moving them, but. 
Dragon's Lair. It's a I have the beholder. <laughs> yeah, man, it's a lot. Yeah. A lot of stuff. So there's three main rules that I try and follow when making collection buys that are massive, like this one. One, is it worth my time? There's a ton of processing time that's gonna go into this one. Two, can I see and do I have a good idea of everything that's in the purchase? In this case, there's so much stuff. And then three, do I have reasonable cash to be able to afford the deal? This would be an overwhelming amount of stuff yeah. to try to process. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, and the, the time to oh, get all cleaned and test everything, band it together, and like how many? Because you have to. How many of these systems are not going to work? Yeah. Well, the best case scenario is an exclusivity play. That's what I'm saying. But that's. I mean, this is a shipping container. Yeah. Yeah. Like this is like hundreds this is, of hours. This is two years. This is dealing with broken systems. This is dealing with. Yeah, that's, that's kind of getting, like maybe it is just buying as much as we can, as fast as we can right now, but only getting good stuff. Yeah. Getting all the gains. Cause I mean, he's already had multiple wires come out like there's shelves cleaned out in there yeah just from watching your video yeah so it's a little overwhelming to think about because you know it's it's the fomo of missing out on the potential opportunity but you also have to make a good business move but i yeah i also want profits not projects and a lot of the stuff is going to be projects but he sold hundreds of games if not thousands since our video came out video. yeah so we have to think about how can we possibly get as much as possible in as little time as possible. It's kind of a now or never thing. Yeah. So, we're at least getting Nintendo 64s <laughs> and the box games. But we were planning on getting the cartridge games and a bunch of those got wiped out. But he did, he was really cool and he kept the box ones for us. So Chase is away looking at everything and Justin made a list of all the games that we were going to be buying and their values. So Justin's wife Dana and I started organizing everything based on their price and stacking them up. We're going to add it all up at the end and then pay 50% of the total value. And then looking at these Nintendo 64s, you know, initially I shot for 50. I said, we'll take 50 of them. We had already worked out a price. And, I, and then I, I upped the ante to 100, and I'm wondering why I did that. Originally, we were only going to get 50 Nintendo 64 systems, and now we're getting 100. That's like a ton of work. We're doing some quick math. That's best case, assuming everything works. It takes just a little bit of cleaning. That's 25 hours of work for one person at 15 minutes a system. Which is fast. Which is, it's pretty fast. A lot of these are not in good condition because they've just been sitting for years. And then we have to assume that at least half of the controllers will need new joysticks. So it's increased cost, it's it's increased time. And he doesn't even know if they work. So there's the risk that, like, like this one looks okay. But there's some that look really dirty. I saw some out there literally have stickers on the top of them that say don't work. So we might have to look at those closer, but it's a lot. And it's kind of overwhelming to think about. Like, Skylar is busy. Mm -hmm. I'm busy with the regular business processes. I'm the one that normally cleans and tests these, so I'm kind of like adding it up in my head on how long this is going to take. And this will be literal days of testing and cleaning. Skylar does a lot of video and backend stuff. Have you ever processed a purchase this big? I, we, we bought over a hundred systems from D Detroit area yeah. that one time. We've never bought a hundred of one kind. Yeah. And it, like that took me probably six months to get through everything. I would need, I need help. Like I need more help if I'm going to do this. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot. With a good idea of how much time just a small sample of the items would take to process, I try to pick Justin's brain on how much he might be looking for if we were to buy all the games. It's a lot of systems. What do you think, Sky Guy? It's a lot you, of systems. You busy enough without these? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> we're gonna need some help. Uh, yeah. 
Call need, the reinforcements. We're gonna need like two more people. Get, get every one of your brothers, I know, sisters. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I have a big people family. at the gas station. Yeah. Your thought process on if I was to start with with all, with the games, like all the games, okay. a little bit longer term. It might be like a come over a period of time and just get as much as we can each time type of thing. Okay. Do you have a, per a percentage or a way that you would do it? Uh, just a flat number? For the rest of it? Yeah, like for all the games. Not not that stuff or anything? So, I mean, I would, pro I would get some okay. of, a lot of that <laughs> stuff. But I'm just thinking like, practically speaking, starting with the, with the games and then going to like, doing chunks of systems. It's kind of hard to come up with a valuation from my perspective. Yeah. You're right. I don't know what, if yeah. you have a, good, a better idea than I do already, or... If you want a heck of a deal right now, I'll give you a heck of a deal price. I mean, let me know. For all of it. Like, every everything or all the games? Everything. Everything? Yeah, it's not my arcades. In my rocks are cool. <laughs> yeah. That's no, staying that's in my okay. bar. No, that's fine. <laughs> no, it's cheap. Man. This is about to be the biggest business decision of my entire life. I started reselling when I was eight years old. Going to garage sales with granny, buying and selling sports cards on eBay. Worked my way up to selling baseball packs on the bus and then continued selling on eBay and eventually Amazon in high school. I was always encouraged by my mom to follow my dreams and build this business, but also to be wise and go to college and get an education. I did that uh, and married my wife in that process where she also encouraged me and we made a fearful yet hopeful decision to go full time into this reselling selling journey. Uh, brought people in like Thane has always been with me along the way. Uh, Brother Dave, one of my first early hires in the business, grew it to be able to go to a small house and run out of two bedrooms instead of our one bedroom apartment. From that point, brought on Skylar, have made a lot of increases through the years. I'm hopeful and will be blessed to be able to build a barn where we can move the business out of the house and have an entire separate location if this deal goes through. And just for clarity's sake, that's everything but what? The arcades. The arcades. Yes. Okay. Now we have to come up with a plan if this thing is gonna happen. Let me explain what I'm thinking in this moment. So Justin has named his price. It's out there. Now we have to think and prepare, weigh all the options, consider the risks, consider the possibility of missing out on the deal. There's a lot going through my head. Justin could go with someone else if I say no. But if I say yes, I could really regret it. This would make it so that I don't need to source anymore for like the next two years. And I love sourcing, I love garage sales, and I don't wanna to have to not source. It's also gonna be a ton of work. It would probably mean that I need to get more help. There's just a ton of things, a ton of work, a ton of time, a huge commitment to make a deal of this magnitude and to be able to process through 50,000 games and thousands of systems. Before I can give the go ahead, I gotta call my wife. That's super important to me to make sure that my wife and I are always on the same page, especially when making big decisions like this one. Plus she's a lot smarter than I am. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a lot of stuff and it would be a lot of work. It says do what you think is best. Yeah, that's what you say. <laughs> <laughs> well, sweet. Well, cool. So what, what are you doing exactly, Chase? <laughs> Give us a recap. <laughs> are you, uh... Are you buying the barn? Yeah. <laughs> I'm buying the barn. I got to build my own barn, so. Barn in the, the from barn, barn to barn. Barn to barn. <laughs> from barn to barn. That's the that's the goal. I think we need a shake of the hand. Yeah. That's cool. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We did it. We did. We did it. Woo! Let's go. It's got to be said. Gains, gains, gains. The older keys from when we had glass and everything. Okay. So uh, how do you feel, Chase? You just bought a game store. <laughs> well, like five game stores. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, five game stores. <laughs> I feel like it's been a long time coming. Yeah. Uh, You've been doing this for how long? Six years full time and years. 14 before that. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years.
What a game store. The last six years are a bit different than the first 14. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guy didn't. Oh, that one's gone. Oh, did we? Yeah. I don't remember. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta take a moment. <laughs> Craziness. All right. <laughs> Should we? Uh, you want a couple carts? Here's a. Uh, here's one for you. Oh, no, he, he can't. How about nope. that one? Uh -huh. Oh, he can't nope. have it. Oh, <laughs> that's too many. That's <laughs> too, too many. That's we're running low on stock. Like, you can have a Game Boy game. <laughs> Can I pick it out? No, <laughs> no, absolutely no, no. not. Has, no, to no, you get, you get <laughs> Has to be Barbie. You get Tetris. Has to be Barbie related. <laughs> Do you want a bin? I love one. <laughs> I have one right there. I might drop these. Though. Yeah, oh you my want gosh. Well. Leaning tower of 64, bro. This one is uh, NASCAR 99. This one is NASCAR 99. This one is... Uh, All right, let me get you NASCAR doing that. <laughs> I got old. NASCAR 99. NASCAR, <laughs> NASCAR 99. 99. Games. <laughs> this one's called Pushover. That was my nickname in high school. <laughs> this was Skylar's nickname in high school. 25 of life. <laughs> We're gonna have a big garage sale. The biggest garage sale ever. Ever. We may have only gotten a portion of what we originally came for, but now we have more than we even know what to do with. I'll load up the stuff. <sighs> this is a very surreal moment in business for me in my life. Uh, the way that God has blessed the business for the last six years, that since I've been full time has been insane. I never thought I would have had an employee, a contractor, and I would have had Brother Dave, I've had Skylar, I've had Thane, I've had just so many countless blessings, so many massive deals, collections, buys, so many great people that I've been able to meet. And this one is just mind-blowing. A six-figure deal after six years of being full-time in business. And they might fall. But this is just, it's crazy. I mean, 30,000 games, at least. Probably another 2,000 systems. It's going to be a lot of work, but it's also going to be a lot of fun. And I think that, I think that this, once it's said and done, you know, two years from now, whatever it is, I think that Jack and Grace could have their college paid for. I think that we might be able to run my business out of a barn like this because of the profits from this. So the blessings that this will bring is just my, blowing my mind. It's very surreal to me. I'm humbled. I'm thankful. It's not how it started. Sweet mercy. We were going, in the beginning, we were going to garage sales just to be able to, to pay the bills, buying items here and there. It's kind of just continued to evolve into this point, and I can't believe it. This was This is the contents of, I think he said five game stores. <laughs> that were open for 20 years and we're getting them all. So we came to an agreement for everything. He asked us not to disclose uh, the exact amount. Yeah, it's gonna be a journey and we are going to bring you guys along for the entire thing. So if you wanna be part of that journey, subscribe, hit that like button. Um, give us a, give us a, I don't know what to say. Just, just follow it. It's gonna be crazy guys. It's gonna be crazy. Do all the things because we're gonna bring you guys along for every step of the way. I've got Skylar to help with the journey. It's gonna be crazy. Buckle in. Crazy year. So let's do uh let's do one last big tour before we start clearing things out. Now this is one of the things that is included. This glorious PlayStation case with all the silk games. <laughs> I, I always yeah. I 
apparently there's a bunch of disc only games in here. The display cases I can take if I want them. It's all going except for the arcade cabinets. So you've got the disc cleaner. I'm gonna have another one. A couple of them. So that's awesome. Cause all you know you're gonna have to clean a couple of... Uh... I'm gonna need those. <laughs> I'll probably need a better one. That's... I'm gonna have three of that kind now. I'm probably gonna have to get the 50 in one. All the shelves. Any of the shelves I can take if I want. Obviously I'm gonna need space for those. <laughs> um, here's about, uh, I don't know, 2,000 Atari games, 2,600, 7,800, boxed, Dreamcast over here, Dreamcast, goodness gracious, Sega Saturn, I'm very excited about this section, a ton of Sega Saturn, Sega CD, Probably one of the biggest sections is the Sega Genesis, and these are all in cases, which is super awesome. There's countless, you know, there's all the Rocket Knight Adventures that we you know, haven't gotten yet. We've already, we spent a bunch of money here already. There's probably a thousand Genesis games right there. Another couple hundred cased games, Master System 32X. 32 Let's keep going. Wii, Blu-ray, more Wii. N64 that we got to finish uh, packing up. You got more Wii. And these shelves, guys, for media, regular media, they hold about 600 games. So this is where we cleared out the GameCube section, if you remember that. That was a lot of fun. Uh, the Xbox. There's a lot of that. These, there's probably, how many people are here? Like, gosh, maybe 800 more. Eight, eight per stack. Let's say eight across is 64 times, let's say 15. So. Yeah, so it's right, right in that range. It's 700, 800 games. Yeah. Um, Just a wall of Xbox. A ton of Xbox. And then this is, you know, very exciting part. The SNES cartridges, so many of those. Um, probably thousands of Just NES games. All the duplicates. <laughs> On there. Just more, like there's bro this entire aisle. You got the SNES box games and NES box games and DS games, 3DS. We Skylanders. Do. Don't forget about the systems all the time. <laughs> you need a barn. <laughs> I do. That's a lot of games. <laughs> PS4 games, 360 games, Xbox games. We haven't even talked about PS2 yet. So we own it all now, 50,000 games, it's all ours. But now we have a new set of problems on our hands. Yeah, like how the heck are we gonna process all this stuff? <laughs> yeah, we have a limited time to move it all. Where the heck are we gonna store it? Yeah, we're probably gonna have to <laughs> invest in some kind of like storage space, fill up. Uh, 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 <laughs> I said I would never do that, Sky Guy. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and how the heck are we gonna sell through all this stuff? <laughs> Yeah, we're we're gonna have to be very creative. Um, oh my gosh! I Sweet mercy, guys. So, like Chase, essentially, you did this backwards. We were supposed to have a barn to be able to buy this stuff, and now we're buying this stuff to be able to have a barn. <laughs> you know, you should have told me that before I made the deal. <laughs> Oops! I did it backwards. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. It's time to start moving stuff. so bad. Chase hey, Thane, it feels like I haven't seen you guys in forever. <laughs> Hi. What are you guys doing? I'm just sitting. We took a 15 minute break. <laughs> oh, while I was lifting heavy boxes. I've been taking it in, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's that's okay. I mean, you, you hire me to do the labor. I get it. I'm just... <laughs> I'm going to actually have to start working now. <laughs> Dang. Oh gosh, this is a two man. Yeah, that is killing my hands. What is in here? Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> we need just pictures of all this stuff. Oh my goodness. It's every um wrestling game underneath those. Oh, okay. So it's every <laughs> wrestling game ever made. Got it? I could have got this bump of sale. Probably, but we're not gonna let you. 
I'm the yeah. kind of 28 year old that my dream vehicle is a Toyota Sienna. Yeah. <laughs> so watch watch uh, the video that came out today. Yeah. I go I go on, I go to do a shot and Thane slaps it out of my hand and just flies right at the camera and jump scares you. <laughs> I like how that bin is labeled, eh. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what condition to call these, it's eh. <laughs> it gets the point across. As long as you understand, or no, as, as long as I understand what's in there. Oh, this is another eh bin. Oh, here you go. There we go. <laughs> we'll take those two. <laughs> Put those in a special place. A whole box of HD is brand new. It's gold. These are, it, it's, it's good as cash. Easy. It's good as a gold uh, bar. Shrink wrap. Oh, nice. So, I mean, you like how we're watching you struggle with this? It's great. <laughs> so, really? that box can just get N64 cartridges. I think that is a box. Okay. If you want to grab that scanner, let's go do this. Yeah, let's go pick out some games. That game's fun. Yeah. Was, uh, just, I'll just get all of them. Why not? You know? uh, oh. Just back them in there. Oh. Uh, oh, you're really, like clearing the shelves, like, oh my, oh, okay, just, <laughs> that, that's one way to do it, that's a, that, that's a way. <laughs> Alright, so get a hand under it because the bottom of this will fall out. <laughs> you just, yeah. Well, we'll see you next week. All right, sounds we'll good. see you later. See you guys. Oh, oops, sorry. There you got it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you again. Seriously appreciate it. Oh, yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. It'll be like changing. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we we were we call. weren't free picking. We, well, it's we also didn't standing in disbelief that you just bought a game store. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I I feel a little overwhelmed, but mostly I feel thankful, blessed. Yeah. And overjoyed it'll be cool that we still get to see them and hopefully can maintain a relationship over the years For sure. they're really really cool so and maybe buy a puppy maybe buy a puppy <laughs> one of these days so not only is this huge for us but this is huge for justin and dana yeah you could tell it was definitely a significant moment in their lives i mean justin's family has been had had this game store for over 20 years yeah several yeah and, and they literally met as little kids at the game store it's so cool and now like this is this is a very large piece that it's it's leaving it's leaving their lives right. it's a it's a huge it's a big part of their lives yeah like both literally and like, <laughs> yeah, right. like it takes up a lot of space way. but also emotionally mm -hmm. for them and justin and dana we we couldn't appreciate you guys more it's been a mm -hmm. pleasure and i honestly look forward to continuing to see you and work yeah. with you guys you're some of the best people we've ever worked with and i'm so thankful um, the profits from this are going to do some amazing things for our, for my family, for Skylar's family, mm -hmm. for my kids and for this business. And I can't thank you guys enough. We're honored and privileged and blessed to be able to buy the contents of this barn. So this is officially the beginning of a new chapter to chase after the right price. So if you want to join us for the journey, subscribe, be the 5% that likes this video until next time. Bar will do. Chase after the right price.